Hello, I am Birain Godasara and you are watching Intelligent Learning. The true sign of intelligence is knowledge but imagination. Today we learn the interview frequently asking questions of related to pH meter. What is full form of pH? pH is denoting potential of hydrogen or power of hydrogen. What is pH value or pH scale? pH is a scale used to specify the acidity or basicity of an aqueous solution. Lower pH values correspond to solutions which are more acidic in nature, while higher values correspond to solutions which are more basic or alkaline. pH is the negative of the base 10 logarithm of the activity of the hydrogen ion. The pH scale is logarithmic and inversely indicates the concentration of hydrogen ions in the solution, a lower pH indicates a higher concentration of hydrogen ions. At 25 degrees Celsius, solutions with a pH less than 7 are acidic, and solutions with a pH greater than 7 are basic. What is equation of pH? pH is defined as the negative logarithm of the hydrogen ion activity. How to measure pH? Primary pH standard values are determined using a concentration cell with transference, by measuring the potential difference between a hydrogen electrode and a standard electrode such as the silver chloride electrode. The pH of aqueous solutions can be measured with a glass electrode and a pH meter, or a color changing indicator. Electrode potential follow which rules? Electrode potential, E, follows the Nernst equation, which, for the hydrogen ion can be written as E equal to E0 plus RT by F multiply B logarithm of hydrogen ion concentration. Where E is a measured potential, E0 is the standard electrode potential, R is the gas constant, T is the temperature in kelvins, F is the Faraday constant. What are pH indicators? Indicators may be used to measure pH, by making use of the fact that their color changes with pH. Visual comparison of the color of a test solution with the standard color chart provides a means to measure pH accurate to the nearest whole number. More precise measurements are possible if the color is measured spectrophotometrically, using a colorimeter or spectrophotometer. Universal indicator consists of a mixture of indicators such that there is a continuous color change from about pH 2 to pH 10. Universal indicator paper is made from absorbent paper that has been impregnated with universal indicator. What is principle of measurement of pH by pH meter or potentiometric pH meter? The pH meter measures the difference in electrical potential between a pH electrode and a reference electrode, and so the pH meter is sometimes referred to as a potentiometric pH meter. Potentiometric pH meters measure the voltage between two electrodes and display the result converted into the corresponding pH value. They comprise a simple electronic amplifier and a pair of electrodes, or alternatively a combination electrode, and some form of display calibrated in pH units. It usually has a glass electrode and a reference electrode, or a combination electrode. What is the design of electrode? The design of the electrodes is the key part, these are rod-like structures usually made of glass, with the bulb containing the sensor at the bottom. The reference electrode is insensitive to the pH of the solution, being composed of a metallic conductor, which connects to the display. The display consists of a voltmeter, which displays voltage in units of pH. On immersion of the glass electrode and the reference electrode in the test solution, an electrical circuit is completed, in which there is a potential difference created and detected by the voltmeter. Nowadays, Many pH meters use a combination probe, constructed with the glass electrode and the reference electrode contained within a single probe. 
how to store the electrode. The best solution for electrode storage is 3 molar potassium chloride solution. What is minimum instrument requirement for pH measurement? The measurement system shall be capable of performing a 2 point or more pH calibration. The accuracy of the pH measurement system is calibrated slope of should be between 90% to 105% and an offset of 0 plus or minus 30 millivolt 0.5 pH units at 25 degrees Celsius as per United States Pharmacopoeia. The instrument shall be capable of temperature compensating. The pH sensor measurement to convert the millivolt signal to pH units at any temperature. The accuracy of the temperature measurement system shall be plus or minus 1 degree Celsius. The resolution of the temperature measurement system shall be at least 0.1 degrees Celsius. What is ideal requirement of buffer solutions? Buffer salts of requisite purity can be obtained from the National Institute of Standards and Technology, other national authorities. Buffer solutions should be stored in appropriate containers that ensure stability of the pH through the expiry date, and fitted with a tight closure. How long store buffer pH more than 11? For buffer solutions greater than 11, the storage should be in containers that are resistant to or reduce carbon dioxide intrusion, which would lower the pH of the buffer. For buffer solutions greater than 11, they should typically be prepared and used fresh unless carbon dioxide ingress is restricted. How long store buffer pH less than 11? For buffer solutions lower than 11, they should typically be prepared at intervals not to exceed 3 months. How many methods to calibrate the pH meter? pH meter calibration shall be performed by two-point calibration, multiple-point calibration, and multiple-segment calibration. Which buffer shall be used for pH meter calibration? For two-point calibration method, to calibrate the pH measurement system, select three buffer solutions for calibration, such that the expected pH of the material under test falls within their range. Two of the buffers are used for the calibration process, and the third buffer is used for verification. The value of the verification buffer shall be between two of the calibration buffers. For multiple point calibration process, three or more calibration buffers, plus at least one verification buffer is used. For multiple segment calibration process, three or more calibration buffers with at least two slopes and offsets plus at least one verification buffer for each segment are used. What is temperature range to calibration or verification done? Typically, as per United States of Pharmacopoeia, temperature should be 25 degrees Celsius plus or minus 2 degrees Celsius, while as per British Pharmacopoeia and European Pharmacopoeia temperature should be between 20 degrees Celsius to 25 degrees Celsius. What are acceptance criteria of pH meter calibration? Typically, acceptance criteria as per United States of Pharmacopoeia are a slope of 90% to 105% and an offset of 0 plus or minus 30 millivolt, 0.5 pH units at 25 degrees Celsius. As per British Pharmacopoeia and European Pharmacopoeia slope of 95% to 105%. What is acceptance criteria for pH verification? The pH reading shall be within plus or minus 0.05 pH of the value at the buffer solution temperature. What precautions should be taken for test samples sensitive to ambient carbon dioxide? If the pH of the test sample is sensitive to ambient carbon dioxide, 
Then use purified water that has been recently boiled and subsequently stored in a container designed to minimize ingress of carbon dioxide. How often do need to calibrate my pH meter? Typically, before each time use it or each set of uses. Based on the risk, can be verified before each time use it or each set of uses. Should stir sample during pH measurement? Yes. There are two main advantages to slowly stirring or gently agitating the sample during a pH measurement. First, the increased flow of the sample across the electrode results in a faster response time. Second, the solution is properly homogenated so no areas of increased or decreased pH exist. When is a pH reading stabilized? It is difficult to know the exact time to take a pH reading. In general, one minute is required to obtain a stable reading. If a reading is taking an exceptionally long time to stabilize, this can indicate several conditions, a clogged electrode junction, a non-homogeneous solution, a troublesome sample with low ionic strength, or a non-aqueous sample. Can measure the pH of a gas. The only way to measure the pH of gas is to dissolve it into distilled water and measure the mixture. What is ideal requirement of commercially available buffer solution? Commercially available buffer solutions for pH measurement system, calibrated by methods traceable to National Institute of Standards and Technology or other national authorities, labeled with a pH value accurate to 0.02 pH units may be used. Solutions prepared from ACS reagent grade materials or other suitable materials may be used provided the pH of the resultant solution is the same as that of the solution prepared from the National Institute of Standards and Technology or other national authorities certified material. Buffer solutions that are greater than 12 should be used immediately or should be prepared using freshly boiled water and they should be stored under conditions to minimize carbon dioxide absorption and ingress. What is the best way to remove air bubbles from inside a pH probe? Air bubbles can get trapped in the electrolyte solution of the reference system. This results in unreliable and unstable readings and may make it impossible to achieve a reading. In order to remove air bubbles, shake the probe vigorously using a downward motion so that the air bubbles move to the upper end of the probe pH value between 0 to 14. No, the pH value can be less than 0 for very strong acids, or greater than 14 for very strong bases. Thanks for watching, hit the thumbs up. If you enjoy, share this video for your friend and colleague. How you feel for this video, please comment below. Do not forget the subscribe for update. And see you in next video.